Hi, my name is Dieter. I'm a co-founder and lead programmer at Chimera. Today I'm very excited to give you a short introduction and feature overview of FusionSync 1.0, which is a great tool for follow-up imaging and diagnosis. It is exclusively available for the ICANN Workstation Osiris Pro. FusionSync is a medical software that is designed to make follow-up diagnosis much easier. It mainly features an automatic rigid registration engine, which is suitable for three-dimensional CT, MRI, PET and SPECT images, two interactive registration methods in case a refinement or correction is necessary, support for hybrid scanners like PET CT or PET MRI, and a large set of tools for synchronized navigation, bookmarking for diagnosis, fusion visualization and a lot more. In this tutorial, I will guide you through the most important features based on a common clinical use case. So let's start right away with opening the Osarix Pro database window. The images are loaded into FusionSync by selecting the series, studies or patient from the database and clicking on the FusionSync icon. Here I'm going to select four series from a baseline and a follow-up PET CT. Instead of loading all series at once, it is of course also possible to load the series sequentially. While FusionSync is loading the data, it automatically orders the series according to their modality and acquisition times. During the start phase, it also automatically establishes a spatial synchronization between the images and computes a rigid registration where necessary. Instead of using just the die composition information, like the standard Sync series feature of the 2D viewer, FusionSync actually performs an automatic registration based on the image content. And most importantly, FusionSync does not change the original image content. In FusionSync, we navigate through the data using multiplanar reconstructions, or MPRs, so that the original data does not have to be resampled or modified. Before we start working on the images, I will briefly explain the user interface of FusionSync. Just like the 2D viewer, FusionSync has a single toolbar for all its windows. Here you can find buttons for accessing the database, adding new series to the loaded ones, choosing a suitable registration method for the currently linked series, selecting the view orientation for visualization, accessing tools for diagnosis like ROI tools, windowing, fusion overlay, synchronization settings. We can also choose a fixed step size for keyboard-based scroll navigation, change the preferences or visit the information dialog. I will not go into more detail here as many of the additional features will be covered in following tutorials. This video focuses on the main operating functions of FusionSync. Below the toolbar, FusionSync has already arranged the loaded series in order related to modality and acquisition time. Each FusionSync window contains information about the loaded series and its established spatial links. So let's see how FusionSync helps to navigate through these datasets. First, we change the orientation to three orthogonal MPR views. Now, while I am navigating through the views, FusionSync updates the other views accordingly. Using the synchronization toolbar, you can specify which settings are propagated to the other windows. All spatial settings, windowing to the same modalities, or ROI object modifications. So for instance, when disabling the spatial navigation, you can navigate freely within the dataset, but the windowing is still synchronized. When switching the spatial synchronization back on, the other windows are reset to the correct position. The basis for the synchronized navigation is a powerful automatic registration engine. We can directly see how this works in this example. First of all, we can see which registration method FusionSync applies by looking at the selected method in the toolbar. These settings apply to a specific linked series, which can be modified by the selection dialog next to the FusionSync methods. Currently, the data number 4 is selected, which happens to be the according pad from the hybrid scanner. If we select link number 1, which belongs to the follow-up CT, we see that FusionSync has already performed a rigid registration. 
I want to note that we do not compute a deformation field on the images. Therefore, fusion sync cannot account for soft tissue deformations in the registration. The original image information is always retained by fusion sync. Of course, you can adapt the fusion method. For example, we can examine how good the automatic registration between these images is. And for this purpose, we can enable the blending for a fused overlay of the two images. First, I will change the color table to improve the contrast at the bones and slightly adapt the windowing. To give you an impression about the result, we can just deactivate the automatic registration and switch to the default die composition. This information would also be used for the standard spatial sync navigation of the 2D viewer, which is part of the basic Osorix Pro software. We can enable the DICOM-based registration by selecting the hybrid scan method, which relies on the image position and orientation given by the scanner. The result shows that the initial position is substantially different and needs correction. If we switch back to the rigid registration, you get an idea of what the automatic registration has computed. But we can still see differences in the breathing at the position of the ribs or at the outlines of the heart. This is due to the fact that the rigid registration only computes global rotations and translations, which do not alter the image content. With FusionSync, we have incorporated an interactive and very intuitive method for adapting the registration result also in those positions. When I switch to the manual fusion mode, I can change the registration simply by dragging the overlay with the mouse. This not only moves the overlay across this window, FusionSync also takes care of the updates in all other linked views. Of course, I can also rotate the overlay image using the mouse input. So you can always apply the manual fusion method to improve the registration at the current location. When you are working with the baseline images and navigate through the dataset for diagnosis, you probably want to keep your work and refer to your results once you receive the follow-up images. FusionSync has a dedicated feature for these tasks, which is called the Bookmark Manager. Here you can store specific locations along with your descriptions, which give you a lot more reproducibility, helps in creating your reports, and most importantly, can save an essential amount of time. Prior to this tutorial, I have marked a position within the baseline image along with some example description. I can now select this bookmark and jump right to the according position. In a clinical workflow, this feature could be used for the fast navigation to positions already specified when viewing the baseline scan and to document measurement outcomes in the description for the report. Of course, all your bookmarks can be stored in your PAC system along with the DICOM data. This example concludes this introduction of FusionSync and I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Thanks for listening.